Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode from Salvage Nation. In this episode, this is episode two on my 2021 VW Polo 2G. And we found out in the last episode, it only had 233 miles. Crazy, crazy low mileage. And I can't wait to get stuck into this. Have a look. It's a mess right now, and I hope you enjoyed those slow motion shots of everything. I wanted to remind you guys, but it's a mess. And this episode is all about tearing into that mess, analyzing what we've got, making a parts list, and then I'm gonna order some parts, get the parts done, and then we can start to rebuild this car. All I need today is a T25 socket, a T30 socket, I've got my impact wrench, and I've got a number 10 spanner. That's all I'm gonna use. Do you think I can do it? Let's tear down front end on the car. So guys, this episode is all about work, work, work. We're not wasting no time, no gimmicks. I wanna start by removing the broken front bumper. This has been tied up ever since we got it. I've not taken it off. We're gonna take off the broken front slam panel, and then I wanna take off the broken wing. We're also gonna jack the car up and remove this wheel because I can see a little bit of damage on that suspension. I wanna see exactly what is gone. Um, I need to take a part number for the broken engine mount, make an order with TPS for that, and that should come in a couple of days, and then we'll know exactly what we're doing after that. Let's get to work. So guys, we're gonna start right at the front of the car where you can see all the brunt of the damage. Now sometimes, when you're dealing with salvage cars, everything is so bent and mangled, you just have to unbend it a little bit, straighten it out so you can gain access to those nuts and bolts. And that's what I'm doing with that wing. With that out of the way, as you can see, I've taken off the remains of this headlight and that was just tossed. Next was the front bumper, and as soon as I pulled that off, check this out. Half the car is hanging off on the head. I'll show you, come closer. Come a bit closer, have a look. Crazy stuff, have a look at all of this. What is that? Remnants of my life. But the positive, you always have to look at the positive. My engine under tray seems to be in good condition. <laughs> Take this off because I don't want this to get damaged. Moving on, I wanted to fully remove this front bumper, so I had to remove the number eight bolts, which holds on the splash guard to that front bumper. After taking my time, all I needed to do was unplug the front sensors and off came the smashed front bumper. Now this is where the fun began. All I needed to do was get my impact wrench, a T25 Torx bit, and all of the front end bits, screws, nuts, everything was coming right off. Everything was going smoothly, and I had no issues with this process. Off came the front bonnet lock, and that was still connected to the remnants of the old front slam panel. Everything had to come straight off, because we were gonna be replacing all of that. Back to the driver's side, and once again there were more plastics. Whilst I was there, I took my time to tuck away some wires so they don't get damaged. It's always a good idea to take pictures as you're going and also take pictures of any part numbers and also make a list of all the parts you're gonna require. I did all of this off camera. Now to remove the wing, there was a hidden number 10 bolt hidden behind this plastic. Pop that plastic off and as you can see, there is the nut. There are several other nuts and bolts hidden on the bottom of the wing, so to access them and to make it more comfortable and easy, off came the wheel and I was able to access all of the nuts and bolts underneath the wing. Off with the wheel and I called in Akil to help me remove the front radiator pack. Now, all of the nuts and bolts are still connected to all the pipes and hoses, so we had to take our time removing all the AC coolant pipes, all the rad pipes, and as you can see, there's still lots of coolant in the system. After removing all the nuts, the bolts, the water, the pipes, and the clips, that rad pack was ready to come out. A little shimmy and a little wiggle, and out it came. Now I must stress that there was no AC gas in the system prior to doing this, it must have come out in the accident. It's actually illegal to release AC gas into the atmosphere, so I just wanted to stress that. Now everything on the front of the car was coming off without a problem, so we moved on to the expansion tank. We need to clear all of these ancillaries and added bits out of the way so that once we're working on that chassis leg, we're not going to cause any further damage to any of these components. 
Akil went ahead and released all the clips and here comes the final one and then that water bottle is out of there. As Akil continued with the water bottle, I went down below, I got my number 10 socket and I started to remove all the ground wires from that chassis leg. I have to remember to put this back on or else the engine may not start. These ground wires are very important. At this stage, we're making great progress and as you can see, everything is looking more clear, more clean and we can assess the damage more accurately. It's all about clearing out these last few pipes, making sure that no wires get caught, making sure that no wires get damaged, and making sure these AC pipes are as safe as possible. So guys, as you can see, oh, right there, I've called in Akil for the whole, the old one, two, the old switcheroo, and I've picked up the camera so I can give you guys a better shot at home. But between the two of us, we stripped down the front end on my 2021 Polo, and I wanna show you to a few things. The damage is a bit worse than I expected, um, but I'm still confident we can sort it. And secondly, I just want to show you how fresh and new all the components are. Um, so anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Let's go check out all the damage. So Akil is just making sure that that bottom on the tray doesn't get damaged, so we're going to tie that up. But we've taken off the wheel and we, I, I expected to see like a wishbone bend or something, but literally to the naked eye, we can't see anything. We can't see any damage to the hub right there. Um, so it's one of those things we're gonna leave it for now and we're gonna see once we pull the chassis and everything and I'm gonna show you that in a second once we pull everything straight then we can deal with that at, the, at a later date but just look how fresh and new everything looks it's a shame that this car had to had to fall the way it's fallen but it's fallen into the right hands man we've cleared out this entire chassis area because this is where we're gonna be pulling it and as you can see it's let go at the seams right there as I told you so we're gonna put it up on the jig pull it that way and then everything should line up once we see the holes lining up back to where they originally were then we'll know we're in the right spot we can do the measurements across like this and then we can weld it all up and hopefully that should do the trick with everything cleared you saw me earlier I took a picture of the part number for this this engine mount we're gonna get that in um, from TPS as I said but you can you can kind of see what's happened here like I said in the first episode everything has just gone for a walk that way um, and we need to pull it back in that direction we went ahead and we cleared out this water bottle from this spot right here we're gonna get everything nice and clear we don't want to cause any damage to any of the components when we're doing the pulling procedure so we've gone ahead and we cleared all of that and guys this is the bulk of the damage have a look right there that's that chassis leg that is completely it looks like it got an impact right here it's hit that chassis leg and pushed everything over that way like i said earlier we need to straighten it and pull it back this way but that is the bulk of the damage I am happy there's no damage up at the top right here. That is fine. One of the things that we did, we did not remove that crossbar because we want to keep the trajectory of both of these legs in the same position so that when we start to pull, they both go back together at the same time. So look at this side. This side has not got a lot of damage. And I know we were running the car, but as you saw, once we removed the rads, there was still lots of water in the engine and in the rads as well. Guys, I know it looks like a mess, but <laughs> This is the way it goes with salvage cars. And we're gonna turn this mess into something that looks amazing and it's gonna be an amazing car for someone. So far guys, we're having a better view and a better understanding of the damage that this car sustains. So I went ahead and jacked up the car. And as I said earlier, there are a few hidden nuts and bolts that attaches the wing to the car. So I removed those and off came that wing. And with that, we've completely stripped down the front end on my salvage 2021 VW Polo 2G. Have a look at that. So guys, we've got a work cut out here at Salvage Nation. Do you think we bit off more than we can chew? I don't think so, but I want you to tell me what you think in the comments down below. 
this is where we're going to be ending this episode we've stripped the car down we've seen the damage we've made the parts list we've made an order for some more parts as well in the next episode we'll start to repair that chassis start to get everything all lined up and hopefully we get some parts in by then and then we can start to reassemble fingers crossed but if you want to see how we get on you're gonna to have to subscribe to the channel so press that subscribe button press the like button and make sure that the bells are on and you know how it goes guys keep it moving and i'll see you in the next one guys thank you for watching the video click here to see what youtube thinks you should watch or click here to check out this playlist on one of my previous builds and i'll catch you in the next one we out